Oh, hi, Jocelyn. Oh, hi, Ian. Oh, hi, Tatiana. Uh, so I'll just wait for a few more people to join. But it's really nice to meet you and thank you for joining. So I think I'll just get started. Um, my name is Ashley. I'm an emerging artist. I painted in pastel style, uh, drawing references uh, from pop culture, my imagination and childhood to create fantastical narratives. Um, in my practice, I explore themes of um, storytelling, folktale, and um, oh, sorry, I'll just invite Ian. Ashley. Uh, hi, Ian. How are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you doing? Uh, good. Uh, do you want to start off by introducing the uh, Exploring uh, Cultures and, and Arts in Etobicoke project? Sure, definitely. Um, yeah, so uh, thank you so much for joining us. Um, and uh, thank you, Ashley, for sharing your studio with us today. Um, I just wanted to quickly um, introduce a new project that we're launching. It's our um, Exploring Community Arts and Culture in Etobicoke. Um, and at Arts Etobicoke, Arts we're always trying to find uh, new ways of connecting with our community and um, finding out more about you so that we can offer uh, better programming um, that reflects the communities that we serve. So with this um, project we're, um, that we're launching, um, we're inviting all of you to, um, to share uh, with us um, photos of objects of cultural significance. So this could be really, it could be all kinds of things. It could be um, a piece of art. It could be a tool used to make art. It could be um, a musical instrument or um, even like a fashion item or uh, something like a, like a, even even like cooking could be considered a cultural uh, cultural object. So um, we're hoping that, that uh, people will share, share these cultural objects with us um, and you can, um, post them to social media with the hashtag Etobicoke Creates. You can also send them to us uh, via email or text and I'll, I'll pin my, uh, my email and phone number in the, the comments here. And um, yeah, we just, we just love to hear from you um, just to find out, um, find out what our community values um, in terms of arts and culture and um, how, we can, how we can better uh, program for you. Um, yeah, so, um, Maybe, Ashley, did you want to start off with uh, showing the, uh, the object that you've chosen today? Uh, yeah, so um, I'll just turn my camera. So the object that I'm sharing um, is called Baras. Uh, these are West Indian Bengals, um, and they were given to me by my mom, um, who was, it was passed down by her mom to her. Uh, they were made in Guyana, and uh, bangles are a symbol of unity, strength, and love. And I just wear them as a reminder of my heritage and my ancestry. I also love to see your culture item and feel free to um, post photos of them with the hashtag Etobicoke Creates, as well as send it to Ian via email or text. Great, um, thank you so much, Ashley. Yeah, thanks. Uh, so I think- um, I've, I've, yeah, I've uh, left a, a comment there. Would you mind pinning that? And then, um, then I'll, I'll head out, and you can you can continue with the rest of your tour. I just need to click it, right? Yep. Sorry, I'm having trouble. No problem. Okay, there you go. I hope everyone can Great. see that. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank yep, you. Looks good. Thanks. Thanks, Ashley. Um, so I think I'll get started now. Um, so my name is Ashley. Um, I'm an emerging artist. Uh, I paint in pastel style, creating fantastical narratives from my imagination, pop culture, and the world around me. Um, in my practice, I explore storytelling, uh, folk tales, and um, mythology um, to try and make sense of the world around me. 
So I'm going to show you some of the paintings I've been working on and some of my work. Um, so this is one of my paintings. Uh, this is an old one, but uh, you can see, get a sense of my style. It's, I painted this in pastel style, so the paint becomes really thick and heavy. Um, and I've also been um, in isolation, so I've been doing these works on paper because they're really easy to do, um, and the small size is easy to store as well. Um, I really like dinosaurs, so I did a lot of dinosaur paintings. And these are done in gouache. And then um, these ones are also done in gouache. Uh, this one was inspired by the movie Avatar, because I really just like that movie. And then this one was um, made from a bigger painting I did. Um, and I'll show you that just in a second. Uh, so this is the bigger painting that I made those smaller paintings from. Um, and this one I was inspired by Planet of the Apes, the movie, because I just really like apes. Um, and I really like to explore color uh, in my paintings. Um, and I work in a spontaneous style, so I never really know exactly how the final work will be. Um, I'll show you a work that I've currently been working on. Uh, it's this one. Um, I'm not sure where this painting is going as yet. I kind of just started it. Um, but that's kind of the way I work. I place all these like random elements together and then eventually try to make sense of them. Um, and it's really messy when I'm painting, so you can see I just kind of dump all the paint I have together. And then what are, whatever colors um, that I want to work with, I'll put out. Um, and then this one is a really big painting, you can see. This one I made a year ago. Um, and it's really special to me because I made it at a time where I was almost really struggling with the idea of being an artist. Um, after I graduated, I didn't know if this is what I wanted to do. But I kept painting on this thing obsessively, like almost 8 to 10 hours a day. And you can see how thick and heavy the paint got. And I just love painting so much because you feel so many different emotions and sensations at once, like curiosity, joy, wonder, um, and fulfillment is what I really get out of painting. Also, um, I kind of struggle to articulate myself vocally, so painting really helps to give me a way to communicate myself with the world in some type of way. Um, and I also like to look up from the side because you can see how thick the paint gets. Um, yeah, so if anyone has any questions, you can I'll put them in the chat, but this is basically my studio. Um, and if you guys have any suggestions on what I should do for this painting, that would really be helpful. So feel free to share that in the chat. Um, my favorite painting, it would probably be this one because this was the first oil painting that I did. Um, 
and it just taught me a lot about like why I really like mythology and creating these narratives. Um, but if what would your fa favorite painting be if that you saw seen so far? Yeah, that's um, pretty much my studio. Uh, which artist do I refer to or like? Um, I really like um, a show that really kept, uh, interested me was Omar Ba. Um, and he had it at the power plant and he was creating all these like um, different types of narratives using like warlords and um, bringing up really heavy topics, but in a lighthearted way. Um, and that's what I kind of like to do with my work. Um, the narratives I create are, are very lighthearted and playful. Um, I don't like to deal with controversial topics, but instead um, make work that's kind of um, imaginative and playful. Um, and currently I have a work, uh, I have a show up at the visual arts, um, at the Small Arms Inspection Building in Mississauga. Um, and those paintings are the ones that were posted on Arts of Tobacco um, Instagram. So if you want to see that in person. Um, what is a legend that really resonates with me? Um, a legend that really resonates with me, probably just thinking about dinosaurs and um, if they were the, um, and how we first got here and just thinking about evolution. I'm really interested in evolution and um, how the world came to be. And like to create narratives around that. Um, how much painting is pre-planned versus improvised? Um, a lot of it is improvised. Um, as you can see with this one, the elements are like very separate right now and I don't, it doesn't really make sense. And so I'm really trying to figure it out. I kind of just work based on um, placing all these random elements together and then see what comes of that. Uh, even with this painting, I started out with just the horse and then created this whole narrative on war afterwards. Um, any more questions? Um, and in terms of materials, I uh, really just, I work with oil paint. I don't know if I mentioned that. Um, and in terms of colors, I just pick them randomly, to be honest. Um, do I have a theme in mind when I'm working? Uh, typically, uh, typically no and yes, kind of. Um, I just write down, I jot note uh, different ideas in my phone um, of random ideas like dragons or like war or dinosaurs. Uh, the color I like to use the most probably is this green. Um, like almost this type of green. Uh, it's like an olivey blue green. Um, I really like that color because uh, it's really neutral and it can balance out really heavy colors or um, if I'm using a very bright color like yellow or red. Um, is there a story to each of my art pieces? Um, particularly, yes. Um, but it's hard to come up with, it's hard to come up with this, it's not a specific story. I think I create it as I go along because my style is very intuitive. So I'm creating the narratives as I paint. Uh, yeah, I really like the green, um, but I'm not sure what color it, exactly it is. <laughs> um, and also when I'm painting, it gets really messy. So I would recommend using Dawn Soap. This is like my body wash because I get paint everywhere when I'm painting. Um, and I think that's it so far, yeah. And uh, I just wanted to thank you guys so much for 
coming with me to see my studio and seeing the work. So I really appreciate your time and thank you for being here. And please share your objects of cultural significance. Um, have I tried digital art or illustration based works? I haven't tried illustration or uh, digital based works, but I really want to. I think um, te uh, technically, like technology wise, I'm not the strongest. So that's why I haven't tried it. I've been really hesitant, but it's something I wanna get into because I'm really focused on details. And um, I wanna learn more about how I can disseminate my work, um, other methods, because the traditional way, um, it's a bit hard to translate that into other ways. Um, any more questions? Um, okay, so I just wanted to thank you guys for joining me. I really appreciate it. And I hope you have a wonderful day. And please share your cultural significant objects with Arts Etobicoke. Um, do I sell my paintings? Where can we buy your... Um, I currently, I'm still working on my website, but you can also just message me and uh, I'm open to doing commissions um, as well as I'll show you what works I have because I have a lot right now, but I'm just really bad at putting myself out there and showing my work. So if you message me on Instagram, um, I'll, I'll show you what I have. Or something that if you would want me to create something, I'm open to doing that as well. Um, any more questions? Um, okay, so I think that's it so far. Um, I don't want to take up too much of your time. I thank you so much for joining me and I really appreciate it. I hope you have a great day. Um, okay, bye everyone.